six corporate leaders picking a side in the race for the U.S. Senate here in Texas. Owners of familiar major companies are funding political ads across Texas. KXAN's political reporter Phil Prazen joins us with an in-depth look at who they are. Phil? Well, Robert and Sydney, according to documents at the Federal Elections Commission, the owners of Gold's Gym, Omni Hotels and Resorts, and the Cinemark Movie Theater chain donate big money to a group running political ads across the state of Texas, including here on KXAN. Beto O'Rourke says there's no crisis on the border. The Political Action Committee, Texans Are, pays to run this ad on TV screens across Texas. According to an FEC database, Leroy and Tandy Mitchell, the founder and executive of Cinemark, paid $1 million to the group. Robert Rowlings and his company TRT Holdings donated half a million. Security Exchange Commission documents show TRT owns Gold's Gym and Omni Hotels and Resorts. Now, money usually gets access, but that's not necessarily the driver for the donation. All right, so these businesses find the candidate and they say, hey, you have the beliefs that we believe in and we want to invest in your future. And, and so it's not as nefarious as it might seem. University of Texas professor Sean Theriol says donating to PACs is a common way big wallets can get around limits to direct contributions to a campaign. But the 2016 election elevated scrutiny on companies' political participation. Five years ago, no one might have cared. But now, of course, it's going to get on social media, and people that don't like that candidate are going to start a campaign to boycott. And so it makes businesses, right, they're, they're trying on much thinner ice than they, than they would have in the past. And Texans R isn't the only pack in the race either. Somebody left something on my door the other day. Another, called Fire Ted Cruz Pack, enlisted the help of movie director Richard Linklater. Around a quarter of the money behind that comes from Vaughn Venerberg, a VP at XTO Energy, a subsidiary of ExxonMobil. Texans R has spent more than $3.7 million to oppose Beto O'Rourke. Fire Ted Cruz has spent just shy of 365000 I reached out to all the companies and the PACs for a comment. So far, only Sean Haynes with Fire Ted Cruz responded. He said the PAC is not associated with Beto, but rather anti-Cruz. And when asked about backers with ties to big oil and gas, he said Cruz's failed leadership is obvious to everyone on the political spectrum and that his PAC has a wide range of supporters. I'm working on two online reports right now so that you can follow the money funneling into both of these PACs more closely. Find them at KXAN.com.